Hello and welcome, this is STR Running. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription in Casey's Mod. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to keep going with our Mantis God and Ringworm combo. And we will try for an 80 point run. Um, I'm hoping to avoid tip scales, but more difficult is pretty hard too. So let's see. I could take off one of the totem battles by doing double more difficult or getting rid of all three of these instead. Um, but I think we'll just run with this and get another shot. Okay. See what we get today. So, okay, right off the bat, we got a beaver that could be interesting. I could put its power on the wolf cub actually, and that would be pretty strong. So, let's go with it. And let's see, I don't see a fire event on either trail, so let's go the woodcarver route instead. Okay, um. Well, neither of those are not that great, but I don't know, Mighty Leap is kind of nice. I might have that as a counter to the um, enemy just in case they start using a bunch of birds against me. Okay, a mole, and we got Guardian on our Raven here, so let's put out our Mantis God. <coughs> Definitely be combining that wolf cub and beaver combo. It's just too good to pass up. Getting those uh, dams that are boosted is just too strong. I'll head towards the uh, sigil swap and we'll get our wolf cub with beaver combo going. Okay, guess it's time for another mate to on the board. Well, looks like I don't need much worry on this match. We're definitely going to do a little bit of excess damage. Sigil swap. Oh, nope, we're not another dire wolf. Sweet. Let's see our first fire event is coming up too. Okay. I think I would rather take the beaver since it's a two blood and we'll use the wolf cub since it's a one blood. That would be a cheap way of getting a powerful combination coming out of this. Totem fight, so hard. Alright, well, fortunately, Raven Egg is probably gonna get hatched on us, so let's just ring the bell and see what we draw up next. And I think we'll have to use this uh, emergency squirrel here to have a chance. We'll get our dire wolf on the board. <laughs> is going to move over and Direwolf will take it out too. Good wolf. Oh, just in time for our Mantis God to make an appearance. <laughs> Good. Okay, well, let's see. I think we do want to head to the fire event, so... We'll do the middle, I guess. Let's make it fast. Oh, corpse maggots. 
cool. Fortunately, we won't be able to use it for a sigil slot since it has something extra on it, but hey, we at least got something. Alright, let's try and boost them up our ringworm here. Hopefully it'll perish in the flame. Yep, good. Now we can use the other cars and get our Mantis God going strong. Okay, well, I don't mind the least tell too much, so let's just get our insect here, head here, and we'll have our muddy leap. Okay. It's nice having the smoke. Alright, well, we can build out our wolf cub and get the dams built. Um, let's see. I think we'll lose a wolf cub though, unfortunately, but that's what corpse maggots can help us out with. Because they're going to auto-deploy. So we'll just kind of play this. Not on plot damage at least. And continue. for I think four cards. Nice. Okay, let's see. I guess taking out this column and this guy. And what else can we get? Could go ahead and take out that guy to get rid of the tail. Too. Okay. So let's see. I think I'll play this in front of the possum just to block it. And we can put this possum in front of the kingfisher. get that fight over with quickly because I think that of the three first bosses that, that one might be the most annoying overall. All right, a Wolverine. I'm wondering if I'd want to put that ability on the Mantis God or not. It would be kind of fascinating to see how strong it could get. Might be better, but let's see. I think I'll take the black goat though to have a better chance at deploying a uh, dire wolf early on. I'd love to get a, um, I think it's the Undying Sigil, I always forget the name of it, the one that Ouroboros carries and lets you come back. Let's do Alpha. And let's go with the fire event. It's too good to skip. Alright, we're gonna buff up our main sky. Oh, good, we can play our 
health again. Um, let's see. And Pronghorn, it's incoming. This will play our wolf cub over here. And these two things will block damage. And uh, the wolf cub and the dam will have time to grow up. Alright, excellent. Okay. Fortunately, I can't get rid of, um, or I can't use the dam as a sacrifice, so we're gonna lose to the pronghorn there. Okay. And let's see, let's draw another one. Horse maggots. Okay. Wow, the dams are. We get pretty close to winning this horse. It's crazy. Ooh, and an alpha. Got us. We can't play our. Uh, um, there we go. I was gonna say, too bad I can't play the uh, dire wolf yet. All right, now I can. We'll go like that, and we will put down the alpha. Make the boulder an attacker too. Oh, now we're gonna have a boosted Mantis God. Wow, that's gonna get six damage, I think. That's a lot of teeth. I'll be able to afford a uh, pricey stop for uh, pellets, too. Which is conveniently right here. Nice. Actually, I've got enough to get one golden pelt. Nope. Guess we'll settle for a wolf pelt. We'll save the rest just in case I need to make another trip. I don't know if I have any duplicates. Let me see. Oh, and dire wolves. Okay. Well, that'll be worth it. Four and ten. That'll be really hard to stop. And I have a black goat that'll be worth deploying it, so. Works for me. going on here. Dire wolf pup, a porcupine, and a rabbit. All I have is a black coat and a squirrel in my hand. Um, this makes me think I should just start using up items, actually. Hmm. I guess we'll put down pelt here. Okay. And get our draw from here. Okay, we get an alpha, which can weaponize the pelt for us. And we could put down a black goat, too, which could then get weaponized as well. Okay. And we'll go ahead and pull a tooth, too, to bring some balance to the force here. And the wolf pellet's actually going to take out the dire wolf up, interestingly. All right. Too bad we're going to lose our black goat. At least the alpha will remain on the table. Ooh, okay. I think this will turn it around, actually. Um, let's see. Well, it would come close to it. Unfortunately, I can't make the sacrifice, so let's see. I think I'll just have to wait till the next turn to put down the Mantis God. All right, and I think now we'll be able to take out enough of their infrastructure here to uh, make a difference. Another direwolf pup coming in. Okay then, if you want to play it that way, we can do that. Let's see. I think I'll have to put down a frozen possum to block some of this damage. So let's do that. And an alpha. 
Oh, yeah, this is not any fun today. Hey, there's our wolf cub. That's a big help. Um, fortunately, it won't be able to survive this situation. I could put it down and it might do better than the mantis god overall. Hmm. I think it might, so let's do that. And we will put down the ringworm to block the damage and buy us some extra time here. And the wolf will take out the alpha, which will further cement our win, I think. Just have to ring the bell. Here we go. I was thinking I was off by like one point or something to be able to win. All right, fire and a cave event to choose between, and a sigil swap. I don't think I have anything I want to put a sigil on. Um, so we'll just head up to the fire. Hopefully, it'll have a uh, attack power boost, and I can put it on the. Uh, Mantis got. If not, maybe we'll put something on the millworm. Not oh, its health. Okay. Um. Let's put that on. I'm thinking the millworm makes the most sense. Yeah. Let's do that. That way, whoever consumes it can be viable and. Mantis God could be the one to do that too, so that's totally cool. Alright, Porcupine and a Dire Wolf Pup. And we have an Alpha. We have no autos too, so that's not good. Um, ringing the bell is going to put us in quite a dangerous spot, but I think I'm going to have to do it. Counting on getting something playable here. All right, wolf cub. Um, that may be good enough, actually. Let's uh, put it down here. It'll take out those guys and put up dams, so that's good. Oh, and that only got replaced with a wolf. Can you believe that? Okay. So let's do another draw and keep going. Might be able to put down an alpha um, in between these and get those dams powered up. Let's see. I think I'm one bone short. Yep. It's alright. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I guess nothing really to play quite yet. Now I should have enough bone. I think that we'll just put down the Mantis God, um, and when the Corpse Maggots, well, they won't get replaced, but let's just go ahead and put down the Mantis God. We have enough to play the Alpha, too, if another space gets opened up. I don't think it will in time, though. of a totem. I kind of need items though. Kind of not liking the idea of going into this fight without items, but if I could have a better totem, that'd be great. Um, as far as sigil swaps go though, that might be a hard thing to pull off. Let's see. Yeah, maybe go in cave event in this, and then we'll do a roundworm sacrifice so that we get a bone token. This is taking up a spot and not leading to happy times. Let's do sigils. I think that's my best shot here. Oh, looks like a fail. 
I'll find one. Alright, sensing a theme here. Let's boulder it all up. Okay. That'll help me uh, get alphas on the board more early and everything. Okay, a coyote. Wolf cub could get on the board and uh, get a dam down or two dams. Um, I believe it's a pretty good setup for um, saving up for our dire wolf. We'll use it after we get to the second phase. Okay, good. The wolf should take out the entire lane. Coming, but I think the pack mule is going to get in the way of it. So that's cool. Well, maybe not. Miscalculated on that path a little bit. Ah, black goat. So we could get out of the dire wolf, but it's a lot of points, so instead. It's unfortunate we have another wolf added to the hand here. We'll make the wolf help the attacker. <laughs> Alpha will have to take out quite a few cards, I think. space to get, well actually we can get our um, dire wolf on the board, and we can do that with the black goat consuming it, but if we do that it gets a power but doesn't pass it on. Fortunately I don't think I can pass it on, so we're in a funny situation with that. I'm going to need a gold nugget destroyed. Um, so let's put down rabbit pelt and we'll have the coyote taken out. We'll have enough space on the board to get all three of these guys on the way down. Okay. So let's do the millworm. Do this. Do this. And then we will start knocking these guys out. Okay. Wow. Four and sixteen. And we can put down our this guy as well. Okay. Kaboom. Sweet. Didn't have to use it on boulder collection. Hmm. Is it too late to start getting dance? I don't know if it's ever too late. We'll see. It's already two bosses down though. We don't have a whole lot of time left. Let's see. Let's see a fungi event and a item event. I like the idea of the duplication. I do have two pelts that I can trade in. I could duplicate my mantis god, so maybe we'll head up to the left. All right, uh, let's see. Cat could help us get some stuff on the board. We could use the wolf cub to make 
something to send if we could get its sigil on something, maybe on the worker ant. Um, only one choice over here. Taking the beehives and put it in, putting it on the millworm may be a good idea to generate some cards. That's interesting. Um, Could put it on the wolf cub itself. That would be a stronger wolf. So we'll take that. Let's keep that in mind. Um, now a cuckoo that spawns ants. That's good. And a black goat that's a dam builder. It's kind of funny and interesting. <laughs> Cockroach with blood thrust. <laughs> um, none of these are looking super great. Cuckoo, it's kind of calling to me the cockroach as, as well because of the respawn. I think I'll take that. And the blood lust is just a little bit funny, so we'll roll with it. Alright, who do we want to paint out here? I think we'll do the mantis god so that we have a chance of having um, two of these. Ah, uh, zero and five though, that's not good. I was a little bit afraid it might do that. Not cool, bro. Oh, there's my beautiful mantis god with no power. Alright. Let's see. I guess we'll get our worker ant started over here. Older, and that'll block off two damage in the next turn. We got a B coming in now as well. So if I could get enough to get the alpha down, I could start contributing to fight with that Mantis God that's currently a no damage card. Um, I think I'm gonna have to put it down, otherwise we're gonna get too much damage here. So fortunately I can't do anything else in the moment. Maybe we'll have something happen here. All right, wolf cub. Um, I could bring it in and let it start fighting. And that would give us the alpha on the board too. That might make the difference. Okay. Now we have a powerful wolf now. Put down this guy over here. Block out that lane. Actually, the bee's not, not going to matter. Still going to hit it. Okay. Ooh, wolf cub with dams. Okay. I think we have enough power. We're going to be okay now, though. Hopefully. put down this other wolf cub. With seven health now, thanks to eating the mealworm. <laughs> okay, good. Alright, we we'll definitely have a comeback here. Oh, maybe. Those tails are throwing things off pretty badly. God. All right. Well, we can sacrifice and uh, get rid of that mantis god. I think that's probably our best route here. There we go. Magnets. Good. Now we'll take out the mantis cup. Good. Yeah, I had to use up my rock collection, but 
That's the way it goes. All right. For a fungi event, I do have that mantis god that has nothing on it. And um, if I sacrifice something, I don't really see anything worth it. So I do have enough teeth that I'm probably close to having enough for a good pelt, however. So that's kind of hard. Um, nothing's really worth sacrificing, so I think I'd rather get a really beefed up Mantis God. Alright, let's do this for the auto-deploy ability. that we want the Mantis God. It's a shame that I'm only getting the health out of this. I wish that um, earlier Lob Dude had made it the same stats. That would have been ideal. Oh, this is going to be hard. I'm going to get stronger if they get kills in, so i got to try to avoid getting killed. Um, Alright, two worker ants and a bee. That's a lot of power at once. Um, not the best situation. Fortunately, I don't think I have much of a good way of countering on this other than putting down a boulder from the worker ant. Just sitting tight. Okay. Let's see, a mealworm. That's another not so great card to have. Alright, and it got stronger. So that's not good. Um, well, we can get our dire wolf down. And it should be able to put quite a bit of damage on the board. So let's go ahead and get it started. See, we also have enough for the millworm too, so we might be able to get the alpha down also and have it boosted up. Oh, I forgot alpha can't consume it, so that's going to sit there until I get another card. <laughs> Alright, silly me. Okay, so cockroach could go here and it will actually beat that worker ant which is hilarious and I think our dire wolf is going to win it for us anyways I wonder if after gaining strength if the cockroach would uh, if it were killed come back with that strength too or not okay I do have mighty leap um, it looks like I need to choose between do I want to apply these things elsewhere. I could take this Corpse Maggot's ability and put it on our Dire Wolf. And that way, the Black Goat is not really needed. Um, or I could try to get another Sigil. That's a hard choice, though. Um, let's see. Corpse Maggot is such a high value card, too. Uh, let's see. Wolf Cub's ability, putting it on the... I don't think we have too many other options. Maybe on the Alpha or the Worker Ant. Hmm. I could put the Wolf Cub's ability on the Mantis God so that we get more power, but I'm not actually sure if it grows in strength with Fledgling or not. That's the only thing I'm afraid of doing with that. Let's go for another sigil. I think I might have a chance at a better setup than what I have now, but we'll see. Uh, let's see. I'm not a huge fan of any of these three cards, but maybe the mirror ability could come in handy. Alright, what do we have? Hmm. 
I guess we'll take it. That might be better than body weight. And I do need to get items, so I think that we'll head to the left. I don't want to go into the third boss fight without any items. Okay, well, we can get our dire wolf out first turn, so we're gonna make that happen. Surely we have enough teeth that we could get us um, a stop and get a golden pelt, but I think we're gonna be the boss fight before then, so. Yep. Let's go with bones, scissors, and squirrel. Hmm, let's see. Canine, it's scavenger. See, that might be good. I think that that would make the wolves be able to uh, generate bones. Um, that would get several things out on the board. That might be better than the Mighty Leap or applying it to the insects. Cause I ultimately, I have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five insects, six insects. Mighty Leap might be the better way to go, though. I think that I'll go with Mighty Leap. Just because I don't know what they're going to throw at me in the uh, final two fights. I mean, I do know Kingfishers are about to come out. Or Sparrows. Okay. I already have two bait buckets on the board. And we have a dire wolf um, in our hand, and a raven is incoming. So I'm actually really glad that we did the mighty leap. Um, let's see. Definitely don't want to hit those bait buckets, so I'll tell you that. Um, I could get the worker ant down with the smoke. However, I'd love to have that millworm deployed. That's the only thing that's going to stink about this. Could let not a squirrel, and that would get us a dire wolf on the board with everything we have in our hand now. So let's uh, go for that. We'll have to get into that next phase. The dire wolf can, in fact, take out enough hits that the. Um, um, Great White won't be able to take it out, so this will be okay. We'll sacrifice out the millworm for the worker ant here in a second. Oh, and the wolf cub makes dam, so maybe I'll do that to block out the Great White for starters. Well, actually the worker ant, um, there we go, we'll just do that. So that'll take a couple hits, and our dire wolf is going to carry the game for us anyways. Double hit to take out the great whites, so we got everything we need. Wow, man, my cup runs over. Too bad I won't get to trade all those teeth in. Well, let's see. I don't think I had any other three bloods other than the dire wolf. Um, it's tempting to get the great white, but I'm a little bit afraid it's going to pollute my deck. Mud turtle sounds decent. Flying ant sounds decent. Um, let's see. I guess let's go with mud turtle. This isn't my uh, strongest setup, but we'll see what we got. All right. Now, 
have no pelts to trade in, so that is not the route we're going to go. Um, perhaps getting a sigil upgrade is warranted. I don't need factor that bad. And I could take the mud turtle's ability and put it on the mantis god. Um, that might be a good idea to have it be able to take two hits before perishing. That's a big part of my strategy, and I never did get a power power up for it. So I wish I could know what was in the uh, wood carvers, though. Mm. Let's see. Just thinking a little bit more here. Let's see if there's anything else I want to do. Well, the corpse maggots on the dire wolf. That makes a lot of sense, too. Um, I think I would rather do that. Because having that dire wolf auto deploy is just such a important thing. So, let's go with that. Alright. Auto deploy, dire wolf. Go, go, go. Okay. I feel like this deck is decent strength, but we've got to Leshy at this point with 80 challenge points a couple of times, and it's just so hard, so anything can happen. We'll see what happens. Alright, insects that are going to grow stronger, and that's not good because we have amalgams to worry about. This might try to use scissors up pretty quickly. And a mole man. Okay, we got to make this god on the board, and we have no worm. Um... Let's see, the amalgam's coming out. So, we could play Mantis God like here, and it would hit, 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 but and block the amalgam. However, if I got out the millworm, that would be cool. Since we know the prospector is going to come out, so I hate to lose things to it. Wish I had the um, turn skipper. Oh, what? Oh, no. Really? Oh, man. I should have been paying more attention. I didn't think we would hit. I was thinking about putting a squirrel in the left lane, too, but... Oh, man. That was... That was so weird. What a lame uh, match. <laughs> I'm a little bit angry at that. It was just so... It felt like a great setup, but... Mm, not enough, I suppose. Okay, maybe next run. That was probably one of the better Mantis God and um, Ringworm combos I've had. So we'll just let it sit for the day and we'll try again next time. All right, thanks for watching. This has been STRink. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter at STRink. I'll have replay on YouTube soon. Thanks and have a good one.